Hi guys, I'm Lisa. And I'm Natasha. And we were wondering. Are you free for coffee? Welcome, welcome. Oh, guys. <laughs> okay, if y'all have not been watching Hulu's Reasonable Doubt. Reasonable Doubt. Mm. Carrie Washington produces it. Yes. That's a good that's shout a, out and a, a good a recommendation because we love her. But you've been missing out. Oh my gosh. It's so good. So it yes. ended. So we're just FYI, we're there sad. will be spoilers. Oh, so yeah. If you haven't Spoiler alert. watched all of season two yet, um, then maybe watch it and come back if, if spoilers bother you. No, we're in season me. three, aren't we? Two. We finished two. We just finished two. Why did I thought we just finished three? No, we just this finished is two. two. This okay. is two. Either okay. way, guys, we're, we're caught up. So okay. if you're not. <laughs> yes. Um, so this season, we find Jax, who is our leading lady lawyer, uh, recovering from the abduction yes. and the suicide. Uh, the guy abducted her. Yes. And then he committed suicide. Yes. In front of her. Yes. Her former client, lover, boyfriend, what I don't <laughs> abuser. I don't know. He's, he's, it was a lot. He's a mix. Yeah. Um, so she's trying to get her marriage back on track with Lewis. After they were separated. So she was yes. kicking it with her former client yes. who was incarcerated. She defended him when she was a public defender. He's been in jail for a long time. So years. this is season yeah. one. So all this happened. So he committed suicide. So now we're beginning season two. She's got PTSD. She's having anxiety attacks. Um, what else? She she's a mess, which it's anybody mess. would be. It, yeah, anybody and it would be. It sounds real crazy, but the way they did it, it, it actually made sense. Like you can oh, see it happening. Sense. It was like okay, I could see this. Yes. So, um, sex always brings consequences, and some mm. not so pleasant. So that was wasn't that the theme of that? That season? really was, <laughs> especially well. Michael Ely mm -hmm. played the guy, the the boyfriend slash yes Dana. client yes. Um, and he played crazy so good. He did. Like, <laughs> he kind of does play creepy crazy because he's done that in some other things, doesn't he? He does. He does. And he he lures you in, and then you're like, oh snap. Yes, he, he's a oh. little he's a little off. Just something ain't right. So it was so good that it, that was kind of a theme running through. So she's trying to recover from that. Yes. Lewis has been so kind. Yes. And thoughtful and encouraging yeah. supportive he's all been withstanding things. hasn't he like he's he's trying he he's really trying. has especially when and he has his own stuff think guys. about what's going on now they were separated so nobody can be mad about yeah. it yeah but i mean just because you're not mad doesn't mean you don't have feelings about it oh yes you know so yes absolutely he has put those aside just to and, be there for and her. just to be there for her so that's great to mm -hmm. see the marriage counseling sessions. I, I love, love that marriage counselor. I love the counselor. And it really, it was interesting, some of the exercise that he had them do. Yes. And some of the points he made. So you can kind of, it, it kind of is helpful in your own relationships. Oh, yes. And also, it moved the storyline along, it which I did. did. I like. I thought that was a good way to do that. It was. So that I was I love that guy, too. It, it's so believable. Like, he plays that well. Okay, so this year, mm. Chanel, who, if you watch season one, she, she is one her the, best friend. One of the group. Yes, they, they, they grew, grew up, up together. Girls yes. That women. Yes. Uh, they grew up together. Yes. They've they known each other since school. Since like, school. Uh, yeah. yeah. Not college, like school, primary school. school. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So um, one of those friends has been a victim of a domestic abuse. Mm -hmm. So we saw glimpses glimpses of it in season one yeah glimpses yes. yeah a little but, bit but, but not full out yes, yes um but this season we really we see that and i thought what was so good because oftentimes and y'all know this when we talked about cassie and, mm -hmm. and some other hot topics women that have been abused you know you kind of Think what you know? How did she get in that, and mm -hmm. what made her fall for him, and all those things? Well, this really 
show was oh, there. Wasn't it good? And it was so good. And you're thinking, well, of course she fell for him. Yeah. Anybody would fall for yeah. him. JT, he was, oh, he, he was, was good. smooth. He was he smooth. He was so charming. Yes. So into Present, her. So into her. So romantic. Yes. I mean, all the things. So he pursued her. Yes. I mean, there, I didn't see any red flags at first. No. I and mean, it happened later. I mean, they were married and he had was, a child. He was leading up to it. Well, he had started the verbal. He had started the verbal because she does recap that. But the first time it was ever physical, their baby was three months old. Like either six weeks or three months because mm -hmm. she makes the comment. Mm -hmm. So that was the first physical. But it had already been leading up, up to, to that. Yes. So that was really interesting. It was. Especially if you have not experienced, experienced that. it. Yes. You kind of... And then the show goes on and we learn that his ex, okay, so he has, when he comes into the relationship with Chanel, he has a daughter named Natasha, right? Oh, he... And so Different spelling. Different though. spelling, but hey, we like her. So he has a daughter named Natasha and Candy turns, Burris yes, as her mama. But she's been doing she's so doing good, good in yes. acting. She's awesome. She's really good. But she, we learned that he abused her too. And so we're seeing how that is. That's, that's it. That, I mean, but we're, we're also seeing how the shame change. and the stigma is so debilitating. Debilitating. Yes. And so it's like now, I mean, this has escalated to this man being killed. And we won't say, I'm not going to say by who yet, but it, it, it's. It's not who you think it is, probably. Now I did guess it. We guessed that, and yeah. we but but then we were like, well, but should... Chanel is accused, of, yes, of killing and him. and is and he incarcerated. Was, uh, and... Actually, he was killing her. Oh, he was. He was. His he, plan was to kill her. He, it really was. His he words were, "I should have did this a long time ago, you stupid bitch." Yes. So, so it oh gosh y'all it's so good so yeah, it was it was great um, I love seeing how the tribe Jax's tribe really rally yes. around Chanel I in this too. really difficult time they come and together all four they, of the women have something going on that's the realness yes, of it yes. all four of them have something but they're still present but for they're her. still pre it's present for and her it's such a big thing yes, you know yes. that she really needs somebody so that. That's it's so good to see women supporting women, especially yes. black women yes. supporting black women because we don't always do, do that. that. So that that's so refreshing to see. Yes. And Morris, I was waiting. Oh, I was like, gonna get, oh, he child. was a welcome addition this season, y'all. So he, um, I try not to. He be plays a kind of a hot shot attorney, attorney who's, because whose father and grandfather were both were, attorneys. Were both attorneys. So we're talking like. Priest a legacy, rights, a type, legacy uh, thing, and then oh, his story was good though, wasn't it? It really was. So, Jax, because of her issues from last season, is still not all the way present at work at in first. terms yeah. of you know doing these big cases yeah. and being. And then this is her of, friend, so of that he's in back yeah. into it. So she suggests him. So he comes in Corey Cash as Ooh, um, baby. as a lawyer, and he. Uh, has experience as a really hotshot litigator mm -hmm. and also in domestic abuse cases. Right. So he's experienced in that. And of course, mm. uh, Morris gives us the sexual tension the series needed. Honey. And boy, does he. Oh, give does it. he bring. I mean, but it's more so. so <laughs> okay. We were, you know, throughout the season, we're thinking, oh my gosh, is he going to be new to the show to the like show. Just, and how the show. so we're trying to navigate like well how uh, so but yeah, they, okay. they, they ended his run yeah they tied it up with a big it was pretty a big, bow, big pretty bow. It was. so i think it's over and morris has already moved on to his next gig mm -hmm. which is a medical drama called watson right so I think it's a done deal. And y'all know I don't do medical dramas, but Watson, here I come. I just want you to know, <laughs> right? I will be watching. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So that was awesome. And he really was more than eye candy, guys. His, his involvement stemmed from his own guilt. And I think sometimes that that's the beauty of With it. this case. So he like, was a big time wanna, litigator. Kind of wanted to do it right. Wanted to go yeah, back he and, wanted to go back yeah. and kind of fix it. Represented a husband. And found out later that the husband was indeed as abusive as the ex-wife uh, yeah, had that, said. Mm -hmm. And so push comes to shove, this wife ends up having to kill her husband to save herself. And then the, now because you've won this case for this husband, she's locked up. Because it's like, oh, well, well, surely, you know, you were just money hungry, yada, yada. 
And so he was really doing it for her. Like, yeah. so that, that was one of those in the background things where you're like, come on. Cause it wasn't for the money. It wasn't for the, it was where I'm trying to get her out. Yeah. So, and she does actually, he goes to tell her like, Hey, you're, you know, you're leaving tomorrow. And the Lewis Jack's storyline was so good so because good. Re really what it was, was them choosing each, each other, other again. Yeah. yeah. Because after all this trauma, yeah. all this dysfunction, all this Is this hurt, what you choose? Yeah. Be because sometimes it's not salvageable. Yeah. Oh, and, and it's speaking it's nobody's of, fault, but I mean, it just, it ends. Are you going to get into Candace? Cause you never told me your opinion. Candace? The cousin. Okay, Chanel's cousin, who put her house up for bail after the husband's ended. Oh, 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 oh. Do you remember the ending scene? Did you see it? They go to the same, it was like one of the oh, they went to the, oh, they went to the, the same counselor. therapist, and he asked the same question. Are you guys looking to work through this or uncouple? Uncouple. She says work through this. He says uncouple. Oh, did you didn't say, catch I, that? Maybe not. It was the very end, guys. So it's kind of this like montage of like flashes. Like you, oh. you see Chanel getting out. You see old girl getting out. You see the so it was just boom, boom, boom. Like last like two minutes, right? So they're sitting there. He asked the same exact question he asked Jax and oh, Lewis. So he's ready. And to. she was like, "Work through it." He's like, "Uncouple." Oh. And you know they say it at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. He said, "Uncouple, girl." Well, I, I mean, I kind, I see it. It was, I, I see, because yeah. I, I wouldn't have done that. I, I, don't, I, I hope I, I wouldn't have. have I hope I wouldn't have done it, but, you know. I love you because I can't do it. But the thing is, hopefully, Chanel's money will be right and she can repay them, which I, I'm thinking. Oh, I think it, it is. Be. I think it is. So, because remember, the judge, um, she basically got house arrest. So her money is, her money, that money it is hers. Be hers. Yeah, right? that and money it, will be hers. Yeah, and there was already... Money and the house was her. hers. Yes, right. the house so was hers. She should be able to pay them back, but I guess the trust was breached. And yeah, it was the trust thing. thing. So, mm -hmm. um, so that storyline was great of them choosing each other. Yes. Uh, but like I said, these sexual relations have consequences. So Jax's consequence was being with the wrong person and he's not quite right and all the mm -hmm. things. Well, Lewis was with someone and got her pregnant. So, and when we say yeah. with someone, we're talking a one off type of deal. Yeah, kind of a one night stand, not a relationship. Mm -mm. But they, I mean, does that matter? Because, I mean, it, you know, no. it's just one in, in, encounter. The, the, the consequence was still big. Big. So, that was a big bombshell. Jack still chose him because mm -hmm. nobody could be mad. Like I said, they were, they were separated. So what they did is what they did, yeah. and that was the yeah the consequence. The whole yeah. um, what's the word? That was the agreement. Yes, like we're separated. We're, we're separate. just going to do our own thing mm -hmm. and decide if we want to be together. Mm -hmm. So Oops. that was a uh, that was a whole thing. We won't go all into it, but there what the cliffhanger at the end uh, is around that it's, it's surrounding that circumstance. Yes. So they he has. <sighs> He has accepted responsibility. Yes, for the child. For the child, yes. for his actions. Yes. Jax has accepted responsibility. Yes, like, yes. I'm, I'm down. You know, it's not what I want to do. Nobody wants to be in that situation, but she understood it and was supportive. Yeah. So that um, that was shown. But, oh, pray there's a season three. They have not announced a renewal, but... I, Y'all, Hulu, Hulu, Hulu. Don't play, but Hulu don't don't cut us like Netflix. Netflix, you'll be loving it, and but yeah, they'll just cut so you. Hopefully, hopefully be season they... three. So that was the cliffhanger. So that'll be probably um, Candace and Candace. her husband. That'll be a storyline, yes. and and then... and then we'll kind of get to see Chanel. So I'm thinking the Chanel storyline. I don't want to say who did it. It, it will be surrounding getting help for the person who actually did kill JT. Because Chanel, she was protecting someone. So she's always oh, known. Right. And so I'm, I'm thinking, you know, that we'll see a little bit of getting yes. help for her for that. And then also the cousin and, and her husband in so terms. I'm, there's usually kind of a mystery mm -hmm. uh, in this show. So I'm not sure what the mystery will be. They're going to do it. It'll just be somebody random like the first time. Maybe yeah. just a case that she yeah. has. Yeah. But these other issues. Yeah. Those are, those are going to be our background story side stories. Yeah. I so think. you guys, we highly, highly recommend. Highly. Reasonable, reasonable doubt. Yeah. yeah. 
just start, you know, if you haven't started at all, just start, with, you know, season one and get in it. It's I so agree. good. If you haven't found anything really great to watch. I agree. And Carrie Washington, like Woo-hoo. I said, is a producer. So you know it's awesome. It is. It's she so always good. does just class act. She things. does. It's so, so good. So get in it. Oh, yes. okay. This is for Chanel. You deserve nice things. Yes, you do. Without any strings. Now, that's not the quote, but in her case, you know, yes. it, it came with some, and without a crazy Didn't thing. they do that well, though? Because you kind of dislike. She was the least favorite friend. But then, but then you started seeing why she was how she was because we, we didn't know this abuse was happening well, yes yeah. to the extent to the, i think they thought they were they, they, knew, they, they, they knew, knew it was cheating. cheating they knew it was cheating and i think they saw glimpses of like the verbal yeah and of him kind of being talking crazy, crazy. Right. Yeah. right but i don't they didn't but know you the extent deserve nice things that is yeah. and we do yes mine is i am an heir to the blessings of god Okay, well, that's even better than nice things. Yeah. <laughs> well, those are nice things. Those are nice things. Okay, guys, thank you for pulling up a chair and joining us for coffee. Please subscribe to Are You Free For Coffee podcast wherever you are listening. We hope that you enjoyed today's episode. Go over to Hulu and watch Reasonable Doubt and find joy in the little things. Until next time. Bye-bye.